Hello and uh, good evening and hope you all give you well. I um, just thought i uh, taking in inspiration from one of my uh, fellow uh, YouTube uh, uh, amateur radio operators. Just make a video indoors of doing some uh, experimentation and demonstration of uh, the setup here. Oh, yeah, cheers Adam for that. Um, so anyway, um, what, what I'll, I'll do today is to... Um, had a very nice email uh, asking about uh, the tuning on the uh, phone box antenna. Uh, HFG, uh, sorry, 50M toy box antenna. Um, so we've seen in instructions it gives um, a number of uh, measurements on how to get the antenna, antenna resonant. Um, what's important here is that they're talking about using this with a, a dedicated counterpoise. Um, for a specific length and a specific frequency. Um, obviously, I'm using, uh, not trying to promote any particular uh, vendor here, but um, yeah, the vent that I got, you got these Comet CDW 560s, which are uh, radials. And I've actually got two sets of those on here now. I've taken the brass, I used to have a, a copper washer on there. I've now got two sets. Uh, obviously indoors, um, I've not got these set up uh, in any particular fashion, but for the, the sake of this demonstration and for comfort, um, I, I, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be about, I'll be able to show you the, the method I use in matching the uh, SWR uh, to the required frequency. So I'm going to keep it simple this, this time out, um, being the first one. Um, I'm going to aim for uh, 40 meters, uh, mid band 40 meters, so uh, some 100. Um, got the jumper in there, but being on 40 meters, you don't need to use any of these holes here. Um, I've got my Rig Expert AA55 Zoom um, as my antenna uh, analyzer. Um, this antenna um, on the base is SA2. 239 which goes into my connector clip here uh, feeds back into the bag and it uh, for the IC75 705 is BNC so I do have a BNC um, female to PL, uh, be an SA239 won't it so PL2 uh, uh, BNC female to an, uh, a SA239 female and then we've got our plug, uh, our, our cable going into the antenna analyzer. So, first thing to do first is obviously turn turn on the rig expert. And I'm just going to use the SW chart mode. Um, I'm sure people familiar with this uh, analyzer know how to select the frequency, but for uh, demonstration, uh, go to frequency, frequency, press an F on there and it will give you a uh, mid-range of 40 meters. So we click OK. Um, the next thing to do is to put this into uh, repeat mode. So ordinarily, if you just press OK now, it will scan once. Uh, I think the thing that helps me the most on this is like going into repeat mode. So we hold down the function key and click OK. And we see now that the uh, top left hand corner, we've got the little repeat going. So the next thing I do is, um, is to slowly just push up the bits of the antenna. And we should see the SWR go down. Be very careful just uh, doing this with one hand is uh, a bit tricky. Yeah. There we are. Okay. So the init the initial result so far is uh, a very high SWR forty two point three 41.08 so let's keep pushing it up i think this is the way i'm going to do it just to what i do is push up each section until it clips the other one 
and then have a look at the SWR. So we're going in the right direction. We've got two sections up and we're up to 39 or down to 39. Let's keep going. Slowly push it up. There's another bit just tagged on there. So we're now down to 32. Pushing it up just to our pill gets to the next bit. So now we go, we're getting there in the right territory. We're getting down to 15. Still a long way off where we want to be. I generally just push it up that bit's got a little bit of tag there. Apologies for the camera work here. I've taken another section out. Okay, so there we go. We've got three sections out now. The important thing as well is to uh, adjust it, get your hands away from the antenna, and then do the reading. So here we are. We can see we've got three sections out now. I've not measured anything. You know, I've not got a tape measure to measure it. I've just slid out the top of the antenna. Um slowly and we can see now that the SWR is uh, pretty good for the low the low half of the band um, getting down into I think that's going to be uh, the data section isn't it so CW and data modes so let's say if I want it on 7100 what I can do just slide it up a bit more just a little now I don't want to give it, do too much There we are, I can see you. I'm overshot now. Let's go back the other way. There we go. So it needs to come down just a little bit. In no measuring, just slowly adjusting. There we are. So there we go. So if I want to make some more, try and make some telephony contacts on uh, 70 centimetres, I know the SWR is uh, right for the uh, top half of the band. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll disconnect the, um, we can also have a look at the, um, if I stop this now, I can then come out and uh, just have a quick look at the meter. There we go. So 7100 mid band, 1.5. Yeah, obviously uh, with QRP, I want it to be close as one to one as possible. But yeah, you can see how you know getting this antenna matched just takes. Uh, you know, obviously, get get the get your uh, radials out on the ground uh, in the field. You'd be fanning these out nicely. So there you get plenty of um, return path and no crossing. I'm sure that's not helping in this situation, but for the sake of the demonstration, so get your radials out, get the plug in with the right band. So here is 70 uh, seven meters, so I don't need to plug it in, just keep it in the bottom mount. Uh, get your rig expert into uh, repeat mode, and then slowly push the antenna up and slowly adjust it as you go. Right, let's have a quick look. Um, what do we have? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, so, yeah, what I've done was basically just a little more fettling with the. Um, I had to take my hands off and record stuff. So, basically, I've done the same principle, just move the antenna around a little bit with it actually plugged in. I'm sure these uh, radials don't, don't help with the situation, but. Uh, there you go, you can see that the uh, SWR is uh, absolutely fine. Uh, which goes to tell you this, uh, uh, this uh, toy box antenna. Get the radials on it and uh, take your time with it. And you're going to be uh, making um, contact with it. It's the long and the short. Uh, it's just a question of like... Get your radials, get the antenna tuned, and uh, yeah, 
just be patient with it. As I think it's uh, the most important thing. But yeah, definitely, if you're not using a counterpoise, where your counterpoise is going to be in the air and a measured length and the, co the correct um, the band you're using, use your radials. So in this case, I'm using the Comet CGW560. I've got two sets of those on here. So normally outside in the field, I'll be spraying these out so I'll get a nice uh, radial pattern. Um, tune your antenna to the right frequency so you get a broad, uh, broad a broad gauge you in the right right path and right area on the rig, rig expert and then connect your transceiver and do some paddling uh, there. But yeah, all in all, um, I think this is a fantastic little portable antenna um, and I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of QRP contact through it. Um, it's just, the, the, the main, for me, the main advantage of this antenna is that everything fits in the bag. Um, I do have the Alex Loop, which is a very, yeah, it's an incredible antenna, but it's another bag to carry. Um, I could put my 705 in the Alex Loop bag, but I like this bag. Um, I think, you know, this is the right bag for the job. Um, the Alex Loop bag isn't too bad. Um, but I don't think it's uh, as good as the uh, Icon bag in terms of um, you know, little bits like this, you know, packaging and uh, keeping the bags, uh, the, 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 the transceiver secure. Anyway, yeah, I hope this helps and um, thanks again to all, all the people that watch uh, my videos. I really do appreciate it and the uh, people that um, yeah, kind enough to send me uh, emails and questions. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so I hope again, I hope this helps. Uh, take care all and stay safe. And hope to catch you in the logbook. This is Two Echo Zero Fox Whiskey Echo uh, saying, "Send your piece now."